you need to know about security standards and how they're used in the cloud? In this video series, you'll learn about the most popular standards used in authentication, authorization, and identity management. The standards we'll cover are REST, JSON, SCIM, OAuth, OpenID Connect, and SAML. REST or representational state transfer, is an architectural style that provides a simple and interoperable way of integrating services and manipulating resources in the cloud via the HTTP protocol. Advantages of the style include platform and language independence, a uniform interface for calling services, and loose coupling with servers. REST's simple stateless protocol also makes the style scalable when deployed behind a load balancer. JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, is an open standard file format used for web service payloads. JSON is often used in cloud applications rather than XML as it has a simpler grammar and is more suited to data exchange. It's less verbose, making it easier to learn, read, and write. JSON is generally more performant than XML, though less flexible. SCIM, or System for Cross-Domain Identity Management, is an open standard for provisioning and managing identity information between identity domains. An example use case is provisioning of users and groups between on-premise and cloud-based identity management systems. OAuth is a standard that provides authorization in the cloud with consent. It uses REST APIs and JSON to request and receive tokens that grant access to cloud resources. OAuth doesn't provide for authentication, which, if required, needs to be addressed using OpenID Connect. OpenID Connect is a standard that extends OAuth by providing an identity layer for authentication. It allows cloud-based applications to retrieve identity information along with details about the authentication event. It also enables federated single sign-on for both mobile and browser-based applications. SAML, or Security Assertion Markup Language, is an XML-based open standard data format for exchanging authentication and authorization data between identity and service providers. SAML is a more mature standard and is widely used in enterprise applications and environments. However, SAML is more resource intensive than OAuth or OpenID Connect because it uses XML and SOAP. SAML is also not suitable for mobile applications as native applications can't read SAML assertions from HTTP post bindings. In the following video series, we'll look at each of these standards in more detail. We'll see how they are implemented and how they are used in various identity-based use cases. To learn more about these cloud standards, please watch our other videos in the series. Thank you for watching.